Are you feeling bewildered within the smartphone market, almost as if there's nowhere to turn? Well, the Nexus S might be the answer for you. Priced at $200 with a two-year T-Mobile contract, the Nexus S is geared for those who want the extreme Google experience without any of the widget or social networking craze that has attacked many Android phones. The Nexus S is also one of the first devices to showcase Android Gingerbread 2.3 and there are various improvements that we're gonna show you throughout this review. Aside from enhanced OS alterations, the Nexus S also gave us one of the best battery performances within this class, and the phone was a speed racer. If you want pure Android gingerbread goodness, check out this review. On the design front, the Nexus S is very similar to the Samsung Fascinate. However, it adds a front-facing VGA camera for video chat, and the phone has curved edges, so it's more ergonomical for calling. Now the Nexus S is also very minimalist. We have just a volume control, power lock switch, and our USB terminal and 3.5 millimeter audio jack have been migrated to the bottom of the phone. Now our four inch super AMO LED capacitive touchscreen is fantastic. We experienced great uh, touch sensitivity with this display and it's definitely one of the better displays on the market. Now you notice there's no micro SD card slot on this phone and that's because it has 16 gigabytes of built-in NAND flash. So that's kind of iPhone-like. It's a little restricting. We would have liked a micro SD card slot on this phone. Overall, the Nexus S is exceedingly sleek. It's a very thin phone, very comfortable to hold and use. The Nexus S belongs to the powerhouse group of smartphones with a 1 GHz Hummingbird processor and Android 2.3 Gingerbread, which we're going to highlight in this section. But the Nexus S also brings NFC technology to the table, near-field communication. It's like Bluetooth and it operates within a 10 centimeter range, except it's a lot quicker and easier to connect and uh, this is the future. This is how we're going to be paying for things. Uh, by a credit card. Our phone's gonna turn into our credit card. In addition to NFC, the Nexus S has an accelerometer and gyroscope for 3D gaming. The phone also has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 2.1, and a digital compass. Let's have a little tour with the Nexus S. We are inside the Nexus S right now, and as you can see, this is sort of a typical Android experience. However, there are tweaks throughout this phone. Tweaks for the good. Here's one example. Tap and hold the uh, launcher here and there are five home screens. We could go to any home screen we want. Here we are, just tap and hold any contact and there we have it. We can contact them four different ways uh, depending on how connected we are with them. Now the keyboard is where you'll find some of the biggest improvements. Let's get focused here. Here we are. This is a side swiping this is a side swiping character menu. You can see it's very easy to put characters in our text. Now check this out, we can tap and hold smileys and there's a list of all the smileys we can add. Um, same thing with the period. Uh, the same characters are available at the bottom to make typing easier. Um, and we can also press and hold the numerical key and this will allow us to type as many numbers as we want without having to toggle back and forth. Now let's start typing something here and this has a great auto dictionary. Now highlighting text is easy all we have to do is tap and hold and we get bounding arrows here. We can stretch these out, copy as much as we want. Tap once, copy to the clipboard. So it's that easy with this phone. When you first power on this phone, you'll see that you're only given a Google account to sign into. When most phones have Facebook and Twitter, MySpace, all of that, that's why this phone is completely customizable. Everything else from Google up here uh, aside from corporate, we have downloaded.
from the Android market. And we do get an Android market widget there. Um, but mostly everything you see on this phone in this tour has been downloaded from the Android market. And you can just see how quick this phone is. Very quick. Our drop down menu with all of our statuses. This is the first phone that we've actually gotten a YouTube video to play without any lag right from within the browser. The Nexus S is a rarity when it comes to battery life. We're on two and a half days right now and we have about a third to a quarter battery life left. And the reason the battery life on this phone is so fantastic is because of its advanced uh, application manager and uh, its ability to kill applications that are eating up memory and battery life. The Nexus S is on par with Blackberry when it comes to battery life and that's a very awesome place to be. Call quality on the Nexus S was good, but we've heard better. The phone has one microphone. Sometimes it has trouble filtering out background sound. And we also noticed kind of a crackling, um, staticky kind of sound at times, depending on uh, what kind of calls we were making. So the phone definitely could improve in the call quality department. The 5 megapixel camera on the Nexus S leaves a lot to be desired for. Images were not as detailed and uh, it was kind of difficult to focus with this phone. Low light sensitivity was good, however, we still didn't get the detail we wanted and uh, the good thing is this phone has an LED flash. Now for videos, this phone takes 720 by 480 uh, resolution videos. And it's the same thing with the image quality. We're not upset that this phone lacks 720p HD video recording because then we'd get mediocre quality at a larger resolution. Camera controls on this phone are substantial, but they're not as robust as some of the other phones we've seen like the Shift 4G. Um, and the gallery on this phone remains the same in Gingerbread. So now it's time for the InfoSync diagnosis with the Nexus S. This phone was a relief for us because we didn't have to deal with Moto Blur, we didn't have to deal with Friendstream or Buddies Now or any of those widgets that are preloaded onto phones and just suck up memory, suck up battery life. It was just a joy to have a phone where we could have a purely Google experience with minimalist architecture and just a very simplistic and intuitive interface. Gingerbread brings very substantial upgrades to the table and the Nexus S is definitely a winner in our books. We weren't crazy about the call quality or camera on the Nexus S and we wish that the phone had a micro SD card slot for additional storage. Also the fact that we can only get this phone for T-Mobile is a bit limiting for all the other customers out there that are going to miss out on this awesome piece of mobile phone architecture. But if you're a T-Mobile customer, you happen to be in luck because the Nexus S is one of the greatest phones we've seen in quite some time here at InfoSync World. I'm Mike Perlman, signing out.